A museum is focused on the past, but sometimes it's the present situation that can cause headaches. Our Greg Kozel reports with more. Sarah Wilson is devoted to preserving the past, so what she witnessed on May 11th was disheartening. You know, as a museum director, that's pretty much your worst case scenario. It's and it's certainly the worst issue that I have ever seen since I've been here for 10 years, and it's it's devastating. A sprinkler valve had failed overnight at the St. Joseph Museums on Frederick Avenue, sending a cascade of water down three stories. Volunteers and staff sprang to action, but not before a museum wing had to be shut down and artifacts moved for restoration. So we had several collections items that got wet. The majority of those were baskets, um, which are made of reeds, and so they withstood the damage to the water um, pretty well. I mean, this definitely was not ideal, um, but we're working with a conservator out of Kansas City, consulting with her on how to best um, care for some of the leather items in particular that got wet. Wilson can take solace in knowing it could have been worse, but the sprinkler flood occurred at a delicate time with questions about the future of the Wyatt Tootle Mansion behind me, as well as an emerging discussion about oversight of all museums in St. Joseph. It's possible to look at the precarious state of the Livestock Exchange Building and worry about what happened if maintenance is deferred on the estimated $7 million in needed repairs at the Wyatt Tootle Mansion, which the museum operates for the city. The historic mansion wasn't included in the upcoming Capital Improvements Program project list, possibly because the last round of CIP dollars only covered about a quarter of the exterior repairs. Um, there's definitely been some deferred maintenance over the years, um, but the last round of CIP helped significantly. Um, more repairs do need to be done. Mayor John Josendale says he would like to see a task force examine ways to achieve better coordination among all museums in St. Joseph. For News Press Now, this is Greg Kozel.